just when it seemed like WWE couldn't get any worse. When it seemed like the PR couldn't get any more damning. They decided they had to surprise us again by bringing back Lars Sullivan. And the last time they put this guy in front of people on a main roster, it became leaked knowledge that should have been out there to begin with um, of him going online on different forums and posting you know, racist and homophobic slurs and rants. Um, after that, I mean, it's... It's bad enough if you're angry and you're ranting and something comes out that shouldn't. I mean, as damning as that can be, because there are certain things you just shouldn't say. I mean, it happens to people sometimes. But what he did wasn't, it wasn't that. I mean, everything that he has done has been very deliberate, just outright hateful. And you'd think that a publicly traded company especially with the current political climate here in the States, would know better than to bring someone like him and put him back on TV, let alone keep him in the company. Um, I just don't get it. I mean, and already since he's came back, it surfaced. Um, I guess apparently he's been sexually harassing a woman and she has taken screenshots from it and has posted them online. I mean... Sad thing is, he'll probably get a big push out of this because that seems seems to just be the way they are. They reward bad behavior. You know, as much of a it seems like a leader in the company that he is now, Randy Orton for years was someone that they kept rewarding, despite at the time just a slew of reports coming out about terrible things he did. You know, and I'm glad that he seems like he's gotten past that. But I don't know how you get past this with Lars. I mean, he's showing a history of just being a terrible person. And with as many talented people as they already have on the main roster, let alone the ones that are in developmental and people that are out here on the indies that they could grab if they really want to just bolster their ranks. To push someone like him, just because he's big, I mean, it's pathetic. I grew up watching WWE, grew up loving the company, and it's become something that, as a wrestling fan and as a wrestler, I'm almost ashamed of their existence at this point because they just put out so much hateful stuff, the way they treat their wrestlers, um, pushing people like Lars and putting them on TV. I just don't get it. It's... It's just not a good time to be a wrestling fan when it really should be. I don't know. 